Good morning, Falcons. Happy 100th day of school. Today is February 1st, today being your schedule, and I'm Mark Tavish. And I'm Kyla Wynn. Birthday wishes go out to Brianna Amos, Ethan Berkeley, Noah Haberman, Kate Hanchett, Tristan Kraft, Tom Reyes Jr., Kennedy Styles, and Kai Stridgers. Happy birthday, everyone. Light to Shine is an unforgettable problematic experience for people with special needs ages 14 and older. Help us take over Science City at Union Station for a night of fun, dancing, and tons of smiles. 400 volunteers are needed to ensure each individual has a volunteer with them. Look for the flyers with a QR code to sign up. If you have any questions, stop by CR 146B and ask Mrs. Wassinger. French Club will meet on Tuesday, February 7th in CR 223 during wind time. You may sign up in Enriching Students. If you're interested in going out for the boys volleyball team, there will be a meeting during wind time on Tuesday, February 7th in CR 163. Please sign up in Enriching Students. If you're unable to come to the meeting, please see Dr. Quorum in CR 163. Court warming tickets will be sold at lunch this week for $5 cash only. Your ticket gets you into the basketball game and the dance. The court warming dance will begin after the end of the varsity basketball game until 10 p.m. The theme is Here We Glow, so come dressed in all white or neon. See Mrs. Holmes if you have any questions. Do you need community service or a plus tutoring hours? Please stop by Ms. Carroll's office for details. The Staley LMC is hosting a Palentine's Day event to celebrate friendship on Friday, February 10th during wind time. Sign up and enrich students to join us in making cards, bracelets, and pins to celebrate your friends. With the class of 2023 student athletes getting ready for their future plans with their colleges, here's Sydney and Melinda on Cameron Manalo's commitment. Cameron Manuel is a three-star basketball player for the very talented team at Staley High School. Cam has a promising future ahead of him starting with his commitment next year to play Division I basketball for Indiana State University. When I, was, when I started playing, I wanted to be in the NBA. I thought I could be really good. Um, I wanted to play college basketball, and that was the goal. And in high school, you know, I kind of started to get away from that, thinking maybe it wasn't for me. And then I moved to Staley and, you know, started getting better, started playing, got some scholarships, and now I'm here. So I've known Cam for a long time uh, as a youth basketball player till his current status as a Division I future player. Um, yeah, so I remember him being really tall and really just difficult to move those limbs as a fifth grader even and just... But you could see the potential. You could see what it was going to hopefully be if he worked hard. And now that he's worked really hard and put the time in, the sky's the limit for him. I mean, you, you see all the greatness that he exhibits on the court in high school games. And I think, you know, I, I think his future is incredibly bright because of how young he is, number one, and how hard he works, number two. The other thing that's really cool for him is that He's surrounded by people that want him to do well. And he puts himself in position to be a part of his own growth and, and, and reach his potential by way of the people he surrounds himself with and how hard he works. Cam started his first two years of high school at Platt County, but then transferred to Staley and the environment was exactly what he needed. I got around more like-minded people like me, you know, the, pe the, ba like the basketball players, we all have the same goals. We want to do well, we want to get better. And then the environment's really just like, we all work hard, like we go 100% all the time. Like there is no, you know, not trying, not going hard. You know, being his only second year here at this basketball program, he's excelled better than anyone has ever, you know, expected him to be. You know, from my understanding um, at Platt County, he didn't even touch the court. Um, he sat on JV. Um, and that's and that's what he thought he was and then he came here and he figured out that you know maybe I don't suck and maybe I can be something and he you know he's broke every every ceiling that everyone has ever put on him. Cam committed to play basketball for Division One school at Indiana State. The recruitment process is probably one of the most stressful times of my life but you know I had I had my coaches behind me helping me out giving me advice but like it's a lot a lot of coaches calling you texting you you know, just telling you about the program, it's just a big decision to make about your life because you know it's where you're going to be the next four years and it has a big dictation on what you're going to do. Signing up for HTTV, this is Melina Stepp and Sydney Clements. Well, that's all we have for you today, Staley. Make sure to check out our Instagram, follow our Twitter, and visit us online at stalynews.com. And be sure to check out our YouTube channel for daily shows and more. Have a Wednesday, Falcons.